Hi, so in today's video, I'm going to use an Arduino and I'm going to set up the Arduino Nano board and I'm going to solder these header pins to the Nano board. So, as you can see, the warning it says that must not be handed by unauthorized persons. So let's quickly get it out of this. So we have this header that contains six pins. Then we have two other header strips for both sides of the nano and this is our nano board this is really small as you can see the size of the board so this can be used in a wide variety of projects and I'm definitely going to create some amazing projects using this nano board so first of all I'm going to solder the pins to the nano board so what i'm going to do is to solder these headers i'm going to use my breadboard and i'm going to attach these i'm not going to attach these completely but just so that I can attach the nano on it so my nano is in place so now I now I'm going to solder these pins So first of all I'm going to solder the corner pins first, let's solder it. So as you can see that each of the pin has been soldered in its correct place.
one thing that you need to make sure while soldering is that no two pins get soldered together so make sure that each of the pin is separate from each other so when we install the arduino for the first time or attach the arduino to the computer for the first time we should see uh, some pop up that says that the device is getting installed if we are not seeing that message that means either the drivers are not installed or the incorrect drivers are installed so first of all we need to download the driver for it so we have ch340 driver so let me open the first link so we can download the driver from here if you are using windows 10 so you could simply click on the zip file and open it and just double click on it to install it so we need to provide permission for it to get installed and you need to make sure driver install failure that means the device is not connected so what we need to do is we need to make sure that the device is connected correctly as you can see when I connect the device it says that USB device is not recognized so let's open the device manager first and let's see where it is shown so here it is so let's first of all try to update the driver let me browse to the location where I installed the Arduino IDE and we have this drivers folder so I can just click on it and I need to make sure that I include the subfolders so it is still not updated so this step resolves most of the er errors and uh, installs the board but not in our case so what we need to do is we need to use this uh, external driver software so now let me try to install it okay so there is still some failure so let me plug my arduino in All right. So as you can see that one of the LED is blinking currently. So my NAN already has some code. So that is why it is running that previous code in it. So it is just to blink the LED. All right. So if I show you the device manager, I have already installed the correct driver. The problem was that my uh, USB cable was not working correctly. So that's why whenever I was going to install the uh, drivers, it was showing some error. So uh, if you have installed everything correctly, so your Arduino Nano will show as a USB serial CS340 at COM4. So we need to uh, make sure that we uh remember this com4 because it will be used when we set the port on our arduino so let me start the arduino all right so we need to make some changes before we start so since i have already run it so it is already set to the correct things but I let me uh, explain so first we need to set the board as you can see my board is set to nano if it is set to any other board you need to make sure that you set it to correct version all right next thing is we need to select the processor 
all right so for arduino nano we need to select the old bootloader if you uh, select any other like at mega 328p then it won't work it will show some error messages all right so i have already selected at mega 328p old bootloader next we need to check the correct port all right so one way to make sure that you have selected correct port is to like uh, unplug your nano from your computer and then see which ports which port disappears so for me it is connected to com4 all right so i have selected the com4 all right so let me uh, quickly take one example so i'm going to take the blink example so it is currently my arduino nano is currently running this program so as you can see it is like blinking uh, one second on one second off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to a bit faster all right so we can use this upload button right here so i have changed the delay i have instead of using one second now i'm going to use half a second so we can just use this uh, upload button right here and we have this verify button also so what this verify button does is it compiles the code but it does not upload the code to the Arduino and this upload button will compile it and then upload it to the uh, Arduino Nano board as you can see the message here is compiling sketch alright so next is uploading and finally it is showing done uploading so as you can see that the light is now blinking faster than it was blinking a bit earlier earlier all right so uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh, make it blink even faster all right so i'm going to take 100 milliseconds and let's upload it again so as you can see now the led is blinking very fast all right so that's it for the unpacking and the first tutorial so in the future we are going to create some more amazing projects using the arduino nano so make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you receive the notification as soon as i upload the new tutorials thank you